just characterize the period for us then because obviously um, assets under management rising here the underlying numbers look pretty good yes very pleased thank you for having me um, our assets under management up eight percent to about 109 billion pounds um, our net client cash flows were well over two billion pounds up 127 percent on the same period last time and a lot of it driven by our brand new technology investment platform that we put in in the first quarter um, which is driving gross flows now of four and a half billion pounds in a half year and that's up 50 percent so and again we've announced our interim dividend of 1.7 pence per share which is, is 0.7 higher than the same period last year or 70 percent higher so a good set of financials very pleased and um some good strategic performance with our new platform in and um a sale of our international business announced and overwhelmingly supported by our shareholders in June. Well, you've, you've also put some, uh, some lines of caution, though, in the statement this morning surrounding uh, inflationary pressures and the US-China tensions. Just flesh that out for us. Um, how seriously do you view both of these issues as impediments to higher growth in the second half? Um, well, it's strange because a, a lot of commentators are talking about inflation being... Um, temporary personally i think there will be some some inflation in the system but actually rates are unlikely to rise certainly in the in the short term or the next few years because quite frankly governments can't afford for the rates to rise because a lot of the a lot of debt has been transferred from the private sector to the public sector so we could see a situation where we do have moderate moderately increased inflation but uh, but very low rates and personally, that could that could do very well for equity markets, and not so well for bond markets. But it could do well for for equity markets. So, in the, in terms of the typical balanced portfolio of 60 40, 60 percent equities, 40 percent bonds, I think we'll see more like 70 30, and I think 70 30 is the new 60 40. Paul, can I ask you a little bit deeper about the inflows into the business? Uh, the FT is running a headline story this morning about treacherous markets effectively propelling money into these professional investment teams that people don't want to do this in-house because they're concerned about just how choppy markets are, how volatile they are to play at this point. Is that ringing true for you? Is that uh, one of the underlying strengths you're seeing in your business? Certainly markets are very choppy. I mean, we're seeing the continuing um, growth of the, the mega cap tech um, you know, big disparity between the between value and growth stocks at the moment. Um, but all of this is good for us because we're an advice-driven firm. So all of this volatility and choppiness, it basically makes people seek advice. Um, and, of course, that's what we are. We are the, one of the largest financial planning business in, in the UK um, as an advice-led wealth management business. So um, it's just driving business our way. Paul, do you have a view about, as to how long this continues? I mean, we haven't even started the taper from the Fed or any exit from the ECB at this point. And we know in the past we can have taper tantrums. It can be more volatile, actually, when you start this extraction from extraordinary measures. Is it fair to predict or fair to say that there could be more volatility ahead in coming years? Well, I think um, if you look a little bit further down the line, um, then you know, there's been massive stimulus, economic stimulus by governments around the world which has basically ensured that a catastrophic health and medical crisis has not become an economic crisis. But that at some point in time has to be paid for, possibly through higher taxes. Um, <clears throat> so that is coming at, at some point in time and, and, and could be a damper on, dampener on markets at some point in time. But again, I think what it will do, certainly in our sector, it, is, well, it will drive more people to seek financial, financial advice and to seek how they should be planning and organizing their finances and their investment portfolios for the, for the markets ahead. And that's, um, and that's, our, core, that's our, our, our core strategy that we provide at Quilter. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.